Aloha everybody, this is Joey. Welcome back to the channel. Much love and light to everybody out there. Okay, I'm gonna have another pick a card reading for you. I just wanted to jump on here right quick um, with the time that I do have allotted for the channel. And let's give you guys some spiritual advice you can use for the, the week ahead that's coming, okay? So whenever you're watching this, this advice is gonna be for the week ahead of you, okay? We are gonna have three different groups. So I'm gonna put choices on the screen. You guys can pause the the video here and you can uh, see which one of those resonates most with you or you can watch all three and then uh, go from there okay we're gonna go ahead and go on into group number one all right if you guys have selected group number one this is gonna be a reading we're gonna see what spiritual advice you need for the upcoming week oh <laughs> Right out of the gate, these cards were flipped over. So we have, you are a powerful light worker, group number one. Okay, congratulations to you guys. It is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings and loving service to the divine. So know that you are, I'm hearing an essential key component to uh, helping or servicing the collective at this time are helping heal people because you have this inner light within yourself. I feel like you, a lot of you guys here, you've been, you've been through a lot. Okay. You've been through a lot and I'm hearing that, uh, I'm, I just heard by design, like things have been happening for you by design and you need to realize is what I'm hearing. You need to realize that you are a powerful person and it is safe for you to be powerful. It is safe. You, you guys may have people trying to make you shy away or be afraid of your own power. Okay. I'm going to vibe with your own tribe. Number six is heavy on your, you guys is reading. And this is talks, talk, talks about soulmates. Okay. Your community vibe, make sure that you are vibing with your own tribe. Make sure that you are, uh, connecting with and aligning yourself with people who you are equally yoked with people who are, are on your same frequency okay not people who are here to bring in chaos and confusion in your life or who you have to keep explaining yourself to over and over and over again and they're still like choosing to misunderstand you no this is you parting with people who are of your same community okay you are very very strong and very very powerful person your spiritual power brings great blessings to not only to yourself, but to everybody who comes into contact with you. Okay. Anybody who you help, you're able to help them unblock, uh, I'm hearing, uh, blockages that they may be dealing with. So spirit wants you to walk into that power and, and hold your head up high and, and actually realize how powerful you are is what I'm getting here. We got base chakra. It says, Choose only positive thoughts to describe your home, career, and finances as your words determine your outcome, okay? So know that your words are powerful. Group number one, your words are very, very powerful. So you have to be very, very careful of what you're putting out into the universe. So if you're saying that I can't do this, I can't have that. If you're saying negative things about other people, be very, very mindful of that because those words your words are so strong they they have consequences okay so make sure that you're speaking life over your situation make sure that you're speaking abundance over your situation and specifically like the card says your home your career and your finances okay don't tell yourself that you can't do i am broke i am this those are not the right words to put out there even if you feel like you don't got two pennies to rub together i am wealthy you know what i mean tell yourself though I, I have unlimited sources of income, you know, start telling yourself positive affirmations and speaking those over your life. Okay. To change the energy, somebody here, you need to, you need to change your energy as soon as possible. Somebody here, you may be thinking negatively and you may be drawing certain people, places, and things towards you. I'm getting that you need to right now, this moment change what you're saying immediately like when you finish this reading start with the positive affirmations for yourself start saying all the positive things that are happening for you even if you don't see them happening to you start saying that okay what else we got bittersweet 
while you're entering abundance, others around you around may be in decline. So you guys are you guys are moving. Okay, there's a lot of Debbie Downers that are around you guys right now that are that may be attacking you right now. They're not wanting you to use this power that you have. This healing gifts and abilities. Okay? They're wanting to keep you down. Some people, some people don't want your help. They want you to suffer with them. So there's some you can't take everybody with you, is what I'm saying. That's why that's why I said vibe with your tribe. Because some people you try to help them. And they just keep pulling you down. They don't want your help. They just want somebody to complain with and they want you just to, to join their pity party. So be careful with people who are wanting you to join their pity parties. OK, some people and, 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 and it's bittersweet. Exactly how the car says it's bittersweet to some people are not going to be able to come with you. OK, some some people, they're just stuck in this energy and it's like you're going to a different place. This person wants you in a pity party with them. But your situation is transforming and it's not pity party material you're entering abundance okay but you are gonna you can unfortunately you may see people around you still in this uh decline energy here with the downers but don't let that stop you from celebrating your own life and your own accomplishments okay these people what they are doing this is what they're doing here all right the more you connect with these people the more they are transferring negative energy over to you Okay, we got people transferring energy over to you through psychic attacks. Be careful with that. Be careful who you are, what you are subscribing to, who you are subscribing to is what I'm getting here as well. Okay. Let's see what other advice we got for you guys. What, what, what other advice you got for group number one? <clears throat> So many cards. Inner dialogue. Be careful what it is. Look at this vibrational mass. See what I'm, see what I'm talking about here? See what I'm talking about? This is making sure that you vibe with your tribe and make sure that you send out the vibration of the things that you want. Make sure that you those affirmations match what, with what you truly want. Okay, in your life. Vibrational match number 10. 10 you're sending out new signals that are bringing forward positive new experiences that is why you're being told to watch what you say watch how you speak over your home your career your finances your love life your health make sure you watch what you're speaking out because the universe is listening to you right now the universe is like okay i'm ready to take this person's order what do they want I'm listening to them right now. So you have to be very, very careful. And and it's no coincidence that we have these downers and these psychic attacks here. They're coming around because you're in this power. Okay. Trying to sabotage like it usually happens, but you don't have to follow, you know, their lead. You don't have to let them change your narrative, right? Inner dialogue. Watch what you're saying. In order for things around you to change, you must first change your inner dialogue and you have to live consciously okay number 59 it says those healthy changes you have been meaning to make are imperative for you now this is very moment okay not tomorrow not 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 next week uh you have to do them now is what i'm hearing okay so that is a spiritual advice that we have for you guys for group number one all right thank you guys so much for being here we're going to move on to into group number two all right, if you guys have selected group number two, we're gonna see what spiritual advice you need to hear for the current week that you're in, okay? The week that is coming up. What do we need to hear? We have, you are profoundly clairvoyant. And listen to your intuitive feelings, okay? So, we have here, trust what you see in your mind's eye, as well as with your psychic, uh, excuse, me, excuse me, physical sight. So let me repeat that again. Trust what you see in your mind's eye, as well as with your physical sight. For your spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance. Trust in your spiritual abilities. I feel like for you guys, you're very, very... Um, blessed when it comes to spiritual gifts you are very very in tune are you 
you are cognizant of the fact that you are very, very uh, spiritually gifted. You may have multiple clairs. Okay, I hear somebody here. You have the gift of vision, the gift of sight. You can see things. Okay, so spirit is wanting you to trust in what you're seeing now. Trust in your personal power. Trust in this personal spiritual power because you are seeing things or you are going, you have seen something, you're, you're seeing it right now, or you are going to see something uh, that is going to lead you down a specific way, uh, down a specific path, show you a specific perspective about a person, place, or thing. And you need to be able to trust that in order for you to keep moving forward, right? Your intuition is key. Trusting number six, trusting your intuition is key okay that's going to bring about is i feel like you're being guided towards like more love in your life you're being guided towards more harmony in your life you're being guided towards uh healing and um partying with your soulmates in your life as well okay we have listened to your intuitive feelings your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine so know that right don't think oh my god is this is this true um uh did, did the the download that I received or did the vision that I get, is it is it real? You know, yes. Yes, and you are obtaining those for a reason, okay? So trust your intuition, trust the visions that you see right now. Trust your spiritual gifts, okay? Okay, we have gossip and nightmare and opinions. Downers is back here again. Downers came out in group number one, okay? Just in case you want to watch that group as well, okay? Downers, some people don't want your help. They just want they just want you to suffer with them. So be mindful and careful about people who come around you complaining about their lives, but they don't truly want help. They don't truly want a solution. They don't want options. They just want to marinate in whatever they're going through and they want to be sad and they want to be hurt and they want to be the victim and they want you to come, they want to drag you down with them. So be very, very careful of whose energy you're latching onto, you know, who you're latching onto because it can affect you also. And it can also block your own intuition. Okay. So be careful with that as well. We got opinions here. Unsolicited advice is not always good. Sometimes it brings in chaos. So be careful who's snooping and creeping around you, telling you, tapping on your shoulder and saying hey you should do this hey you should do that be careful of that because especially if you didn't ask them for their opinion be careful because you don't know where this information is coming from this is specifically talking about people who give you unsolicited advice that is here to mislead you and bring you into chaos so be careful about who you are listening to things from and what you are following because there's this energy around you guys in group number two with people that are wanting to come in and be like, hey, how you doing? These are people that pretend uh, that pretend to have your best interests at heart. They pretend to be of uh, wisdom. OK, and I'm getting power as well. They pretend to be very, very knowledgeable. But at the same time, they use that perception to mislead. So. There's somebody that specifically wants to mislead you. There's some important information that is coming to you guys here. Okay. I don't know what that is. That is for you, you know, to find out. But um, I feel like something important is coming to you guys. And there's somebody that wants to stop it. They want it. They want you to go. You're getting instructions. I'm hearing you're getting instructions to go down a specific path or to take a specific opportunity. But there's somebody that wants to come in and lead you down the, the opposite way okay so just be careful with that we got gossip watch what you say behind the backs of others it will get back so be careful of people coming to you also wanting you to speak on certain situations because some of these people may be using that to bring in more chaos into your life to bring in confusion into your life okay so be careful of who you're who you are talking about make sure that whatever you're saying about anybody that you'll say that to their face and you're ready to say that to their faces or that you have cause and reason to say X, Y, Z to their face. You know, don't let anybody come to you and say, oh, my God, such and such did X, Y, Z to me. And then they what do you think about it? And then you share your opinion and then they're telling people, oh, well, such and such said this about this person. You know what I mean? So you want to be mindful of that because somebody could be trying to trap you in some sort of gossip 
okay some sort of childish very very childish energy they're trying to get you caught up in some 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 sort of scandal oh this person said this and that da, 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 da. it's like we're grown here right we're all grown so yeah we all know better nightmare embrace the darkness and face it head on to eliminate the threat yeah let nobody use any of your fears against you okay i feel like some you may have some people around you who might be trying to use your fears against you okay or with these energies they may be trying to use your fears against you as well but as long as you face the darkness okay head on you're going to eliminate the threat you're not they're not no longer going to be able to use this fear-based thinking or even scare tactic tactics to use them against you okay we have universal mind number 47 you are about to receive the solution to your problem or concern you see what i'm talking about that's why spirit wants you to clear yourself away from this this toxicity spirit wants you to clear clear uh these toxic people from around you so that you can hear your intuition so you can follow your own spiritual guidance right because there's something you're about to receive some a solution the key even right i'm getting the key i'm visualizing this like um this antique key okay i'm hearing that you're gonna receive a key okay it's like you, some of you guys you may even find a a spiritual key or yeah a spiritual key is what i'm getting here you may find a physical key but um i'm getting a spiritual key here okay something that is antique something that is unique something that is different okay what else we have here for you guys number two energy protection protect your energy okay somebody's trying to keep you from expanding make sure that you're protecting your energy here your spirit team wants to let you know hey something hey something wicked is amiss okay you may have some jealous eyes watching you not wanting you to stand in your power so watch out for that I got evil eye I just saw evil eye here your belief that you are not safe may be inviting in energy that is throwing you off balance so they want you to also know that you're protected right now right they want you to know that you're protected you are protected right now so don't let anyone or anything come in and make you feel like you should be afraid you should fear like, oh my God, you can't sleep. Oh my God, you can't do this. Oh my God, that person's after you. Oh my God, that person's da, da Know that you're protected. Yes, you can acknowledge it, right? But do not allow it to 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 push you into fear-based thinking. Because that fear-based thinking is, is not what you want to be sending out at this time, okay? Because that fear-based thinking is going to make you feel like... It's actually going to make... It's going to block your... I'm getting block your crown chakra. I'm getting that. That may be very well where this knowledge or information is coming from. And they're trying to block that off. So let me let me let this person feel like, oh, they should be scared of something so that they can shut off uh, their own gifts so that they won't be able to receive these messages. So I'm getting your mind is so powerful. OK, that if you envision that you were protected, you will be protected. So um, I'm hearing somebody needs to uh, really pay attention to those words that I just said. If you envision and believe wholeheartedly that you are protected, you will be protected and you will have nothing to worry about. OK, so that is the message that I got for group number two. All right. Thanks for being here. We're going to go on to group number three. All right. If you have selected group number three, we're going to see what spiritual messages we have for you that what you need to use. All you need to have for this coming week. Okay, what does group number three need to know for this coming week? What does group number three? Whenever you watch this, it's timeless, right? So whenever you watch it, it's it's good for the following week, okay? Crystals. Some of you guys may need to view crystals or have use crystals. Alright, if you are into crystals. So we have here crystals. It says the energy of crystals supports you and helps with your present situation. So if you have crystals, this is a time that you recharge them. Or if you don't know how to, if you're interested and you want to know how to charge them, Google it, look it up on YouTube, look it up on TikTok, 
there's a lot of information out there for everybody to tap into but uh use crystals to help with your situation like if you're out of balance in this area that area whatever whatever you find the right crystal that is attuned with that specific thing that you're going through okay and allow it to do its thing is what i'm hearing here we got indigo the person you're inquiring about is an indigo meaning a highly sensitive natural born leader so i feel like you guys here are indigos okay are you may you may uh what do you call it resonate with being an indigo but you may resonate with being just a highly sensitive natural born leader like you i feel like you guys are maybe empaths okay you may uh be champions at reading energies picking up energies from people okay uh you guys may embody the number eight okay i'm getting the number eight which is in uh correlates with leadership as well and authority so i feel like you guys are surrounded by a lot of abundance or so you have this uh the ability to manifest more abundance and prosperity around you here i'm getting earth sign vibes here for you guys in this group here too as well um but you have the gift of manifestation okay to create a, a a life for you a stable life for you especially when it comes to business okay business and money i'm getting material money business here okay we also have third eye chakra it's safe for you to see the energy of love in all of its forms such as angels auras and visions okay third eye chakra okay very very in intuitive you guys are very very connected you guys are okay you have access to i'm getting to, to not only peek but to uh to view a lot of different things beyond behind the veil that maybe others may not readily have access to but spirit wants you to see the energy and everything in the world in general okay are that that gift or ability about you is about to heighten okay you may be seeing orc fields around people i'm getting don't be afraid <laughs> i'm getting don't be afraid okay i'm getting um uh, you may be going through some sort of spiritual ascension as well to where certain gifts and abilities within you will be highlighted okay let's see what else we got for you guys here okay we got divine masculine ghost the meat and love and fear okay so love and fear it says every day you wake up set the tone by choosing love or fear okay so this is a time right now where you make the initiative you take the initiative to choose whether you uh to choose whether you choose to, to focus on love or fear each morning when you get up because you do have that opportunity you do have that opportunity that option okay and i'm getting here your spirit guys are wanting you to focus on love okay it's i mean it's a given here they want you to focus on love over uh, fear or being afraid of expressing yourself being afraid of receiving love being being afraid of giving love okay uh we have divine masculine energy here as well it says stand up for yourself and go for what you want it is time for action this is you setting clear and firm boundaries i feel like with you guys being highly sensitive to you may have people trying to intrude on your on your life energetically okay but uh your spirit team is, is is saying that you know stand up for yourself it's time for you to set boundaries for yourself don't be afraid to say no if you feel like saying no don't be afraid of of, of setting drawing the line between you and other people places and things especially if they're not within energetic alignments with alignment with you so it's 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 okay for you to say no okay we got ghosts here it's all in your mind they can't harm you relax so some of you guys, if you're feeling, if you're having mental disturbances or it's giving me like eight of swords type of energy to where you create your own, uh, you create your own mental prison, you create your own emotional prison and you start seeing things that aren't, aren't really there or imagining, imagining a scenario that is not really there. So I'm getting that something that you fear, something that you are afraid of it's all in your mind it's not really there 
and it's not really gonna harm you and it can't stop you the only person who can do that is you is what i'm getting here so it doesn't matter what another person does says or what you you feel or what i'm, I'm getting fear mongering as well be careful about listening to people who are telling you that the world is going to end tomorrow be careful of stuff like that you know be careful of anybody uh taking you out of this love frequency and putting you more so into a fear based frequency all right we got the meat so something deep inside of two kindred spirits is about to be triggered so you guys may very well be about to meet a spiritual counterpart whether this is this is a love soulmate whether this is a, a platonic soulmate or whether this is a familial new familial soulmate for yourself you're about to meet a new person or you're about to meet new people and i'm feeling that it is these people are showing up or the people that are meant to show up for you now are people that are, are in alignment with your north node, your true purpose or true potential, right? <clears throat> your purpose in life. So these are people who are here. I'm getting for some of you guys, it's actually your spirit team, your soul, what well, your soul tribe is what I meant to say. Your own community, your soulmates are here for you, okay? But you have to, I'm hearing you have to get out of your mind, out of your head and not be afraid, okay? Not be afraid of connecting. I feel like some of you guys may have been dealing with certain traumas and you may be afraid to connect with people, okay? What is this while we look in here? We got sore, okay? All right, so. And we got angel numbers, so pay attention to angel numbers that you guys are getting now. These angel, angel numbers are bringing you uh, additional messages and also letting you know that if you, if you are on the correct path or if you have deviated from the correct path, okay? Pay attention to the signs. Your angels are trying to deliver a message, okay? So pay attention to angel numbers when you get them, especially if you're seeing them more than normal. Uh, during this time okay so soar number nine it says you are getting ready to fly high above all your obstacles and embrace life in the most magical way so you are i'm hearing love lift us up where we belong so it's like you're being lifted up and i feel like a key to lift you up during this time is embracing that love vibration embracing that love energy okay so uh, congratulations to you guys here being uh, lifted above your obstacles. Okay, uh, keep moving. I am here. I'm here and follow the angel numbers. I follow the synchronicities that you see around you. They will let you know whether or not you're on the right path, or you need you need to refocus. Okay, uh, we have Beacon of Light number 63. You are a leader, teacher, and mentor for many people around you. Okay, if this reading resonates with you you might want to watch one and two if you haven't already i just got confirmation in my ear let me see what this says mm. this is about not going back to the past okay not uh this is this is this is you looking straight ahead and walking straight ahead and not entertaining anything from the past okay if it doesn't have anything to do with your healing process don't go back to the past is what i'm hearing here Okay, know that you are a leader, you're a teacher and a mentor for many people around you. There's a lot of people that are uh, looking up to you right now. That's confirmation. There's a lot of people that are looking up to you right now. There's a lot of people that are that that are looking at you as you are leading by example. So not only do are you hmm, not only are you living this life for yourself, you're also helping other people, too. OK, so we have false assumptions. Number 58 this is simply a misunderstanding let go of the need to be right so if you have any misunderstandings with anybody let go of the need to be right this is not a time to be arguing and fussing with people especially if it doesn't align with you moving forward in life and focus on the task at hand you are a leader you are a teacher and you are a mentor for many people around you okay that is a message that i got for you guys for this group Hope you guys enjoyed these messages. Thank you all for being here. And I'll catch you guys next time. Much love and light to everybody out there. Much aloha. Ciao.